if, if someone asks me to speak Creole, it's like, okay, what do I say? But uh, I, I just, oh, I'll tell them, the time we have been in a salon, the, I've been, I've been to talk to Creole better one pass mark. So I, I've been talking so well, so the, the people, they, they no go away, but say, if me na a man or me na a black man, pass me look see me kinda. Because the way we have been talking, been clear pass mark. Um, so both people, they, they've been like, they've been like, I'm too, too much when they talk to Creole. Uh, so now, now Creole, it, if people like English, but not a half, not half, half English, it, uh, a person go take English, then go, then go, chop, then go chop, chop in, 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 in pieces. And then they, then go put other word them from other language and then put them inside. And now then they, now they, they go get the Creole. So. The time when you, when you kind of sat down, now sometimes you know go hear nothing. But past you, they can't use two hands, small, small. You, you go listen to them, you go ask people them, what, what in them they talk. You go to listen, you go to hear, you go you go to uh, uh, safu, safu, you go, you go, you go hear, what in them they talk. And uh, me back, me, I don't, I don't, I don't say where, where, I have, where I don't talk to Korea, so it's no easy for, for talk on Google one, but. Down there in a cruel. So I think you're probably able to understand maybe about half of it. You know, you can, you, you know, there's a word here and there that you can kind of be like, oh, okay, I can see where English, where this originally was English. But then you have a few other words that are, they call them deep creo, that are completely different. Like um, to understand, you just say yuri, which is kind of derived from here. Um, so uh, that that's one example, or there's a like, <laughs> There's a uh, like the word. Uh, one of the, I remember one of the first deep Creole words that were uh, I learned was falamakata, which means copycat, and I, I, it sounds almost like it was derived from photocopy at some point. Um, falamakata or um, another deep Creole word uh, would be tan, which means uh, is similar, like uh, Creole tan, like English. Creole is similar to English, or or FIBA, which means look like. It's similar to tan, but it means look like. So like you could say, me a FIBA mi papa, I look like my dad. Um, or uh, there, are, there are a few other words. Like um, in teaching the gospel, there are actually a couple of Creole words that, that really come in handy when you're teaching the gospel. Because when, you, when you're teaching the Ten Commandments and the, you teach the word covet, in English, and if you're using the word covet in English, you may run across some people that know what it means to covet and others that is, it's a word that you don't learn until maybe later. But they have a word there in, in Africa that they understand very well. It's, it, the word for it is mille. And they say, you know, you just say, you know for mille, which means thou shalt not covet. And uh, they understand it very well. It's a common, it's a common phrase there, where, whereas here in America, it's not that common to use the word covet. Um, another one, another deep Creole word is tawa, and tawa means to endure. So that's another word that's used when teaching the gospel a lot. You go say, you for tawa till you die. Like if you're going to say you endure to the end, tawa till you die. Just endure until you die, pretty much. Now that's one thing about uh, Creole is there, there are not very many direct translations. You, uh, I think Creole kind of has a smaller vocabulary. You know, there are, there are slightly fewer words in, in Creole than there are in English, and so sometimes you just kind of have to make do with what words you have to make them fit. Um, and obviously, the more deep Creole you learn, the better you'll be able to communicate in straight Creole without having to, to revert to English. But as you're speaking Creole, if you do revert to English here and there, it's, it's okay. Because most of the people speak English. And because Creole is derived from English, a lot of Creole words are just the English word for that, but just with an African accent. And uh, so like, I is ah. I de go, I am going. And, and uh, so it's, uh, yeah. So if you, if, if, you know, if you don't understand it completely, you don't have to worry about it. You can learn it word by word and use it word by word. And, and it's, that's what makes it a great language to learn.